Those who hold traditional values may view Donald Trump's criticism as validating fears of government overreach and economic mismanagement. They see a shift towards socialism or communism, especially in light of Kamala Harris's proposal, which they perceive as a global failure. On the other hand, supporters of Kamala Harris might argue that compulsory price controls are necessary to shield the vulnerable from skyrocketing prices and economic exploitation. Regardless of their stance, the debate centers on the fundamental tension between control and freedom, a dynamic deeply intertwined with human psychology and social behavior. Mr. President, I, I want to ask you a question about national security, but first I think it's important to point out what Luke is talking about, the cost of groceries, the cost of gas, the cost of housing, mortgages, rent, everything has gone up. Kamala Harris's plan that she's announced is government price controls. I think it's important to touch on, you just laid out your plan. What's going to happen if Kamala Harris institutes price controls? So that's a communist plan. It's never worked. And it's been tried by others. Believe it or not, Richard Nixon tried it. A lot of people tried it. It's been tried many times, and it always leads to the same failure. Uh, tremendous inflation, lack of product. You don't have anything. The stores are not stocked. It has never worked. It's called control. They want control. And, uh, you know, look, it just, it's been so often. And everybody that comes in, they say it. It sort of sounds great. We're going to go price control. Actually, when she announced it, she got absolutely slaughtered by even Democrats because it doesn't work. It's, it's a known loser. So now she doesn't talk about it. Trump's portrayal of Harris's price control initiative as communist strikes a chord with many, particularly those who prioritize free market principles. The public often views government intervention, like price controls, as a path to inefficiency and economic harm. Historical precedents, such as Richard Nixon's failed attempt at price controls, which Trump references, reinforce the belief that such policies are destined to fail. Trump's critique is a defense of economic freedom, a cornerstone of conservative ideology, emphasizing that markets, rather than governments, should dictate prices through the forces of supply and demand.